Hi, today we are going to talk about the resource updating manager and how to update resources. As you can see I already have directory synchronization configured and some objects have been successfully synchronized. Now we will go to our tasks and we will start the resource updating manager. Here we need to create at least one group and we can add computers to this group. We have many options, I will just add one single computer at this time. Since I don't have a workstation, I, I've chosen a domain controller. Once the computers have been added, we need to discover them. We will create a task and discover the computer. takes literally a few seconds. Once a discovery has been completed, we would like to go and see what has been actually done, what happened in the background. We will go to our source computer, which has been discovered, and we will see that on the Windows folder, a new folder has been created, Quest Resource Updating Agent. This folder contains the executable, and few other files. Basically during the discovery the console pushed out an agent to the workstation. Let's check what else has been installed on this machine. If you go and check the shared folders we will see a couple of new shares have been created. One for the configuration, one for the locks. And if you go and check the services you will notice one new service has been created. This is a RAM agent. And if you check the credentials you will see the tool is using the credentials which have been specified in RAM. Now we will have a quick look and see what we have on this server. We have a couple of user profiles. And if we examine the profile, we will see that only the user has rights to his profile. We also have a couple of folders with data where only the source users have permissions assigned. Now we will go and create a task and we will process the resources. Please pay attention to the checkbox leave source accounts permissions. This setting is important. It should be always selected. As long as the checkbox is selected, the source accounts will still have permissions. This doesn't mean they will have access, but this means any time we can undo the processing and redo it again. I am going to unselect the services and tasks because this is my domain controller, a server, I don't want to process them yet. When the resources are being processed, we can go and view the progress. Depending on the amount of data, it might take some time. As you can see, the tool found and updated two profiles and one share. This was a test share I created on the domain controller. Processing is finished, status is OK. Now we will go to the source machine and have a look. If you are working in IT, it is not always possible to remotely access absolutely every computer, so you can easily do this from the console. Just connect to the workstation which was processed and look up the data. Let's have a look at the profiles first. As you can see now, both users have permissions, the source user and the target user. During the processing of resources, the tool added an additional entry for the target user. The same happened for the second profile. Let's go and check the anti-user.file. 
the same happened here now both users have access to the old profile as you can see the tool is not creating new profiles it doesn't copy them or duplicate them it simply gave permissions to the target user to access the source profile the old profile the same applies to this profile both users now have access the source and the target user and if we examine our folder with data you will see that all the entries have been duplicated now both source and target users have rights we have an existing share and the same happened here the tool processed the permissions and both source and target users have rights we can see two entries on our share lots of users and groups had permissions and as you can see they have been duplicated now both source and target objects they have permissions let's switch to the source machine and we will have a look at the share itself usually share permissions are assigned to everyone but in this case we modified them and added some source objects as you can see now target objects have permissions as well this means the resource updating manager has processed the share now we will connect to the registry and see what else has been done target user access to the shares that's fine but he needs more if we go and find the profile list we will see that not only the source user has an entry here but the tool went and created another entry for the target user now both source and target user are pointing to the same existing source profile this is how it works and this is how the target user will get access to the source profile now our migrated user can use the old existing profile in the profile list we can see the seats only but if you use ADSI edit or LDP or another tool you can easily find those seats in your active directory now we will go and have a quick look at the source machine and see what happened in our share when we were processing resources and clicked on start the workstation connected to the console and requested the information the configuration file this our INI file as you can see services and tasks are set to no rest is being set to yes this INI file also contains all the entries which the tool needs all the users and their seats this is one of the users I have migrated which had a profile on this domain controller and this is our second user we are not supposed to touch or modify this INI file because this will break this file we can also review the log files we can sort them by date and we will open the latest log file and in this log file we will see everything what the tool has been performed during the migration updating of the profile it found seven profiles it modified two profiles we will not move
remove this computer now because it's my domain controller we will do it next time with another machine you can reuse the old tasks you can populate the collection with another computer and then you just copy this task and you can see all the settings have been preserved this makes your task easier this is how resource updating works in quest migration manager in RAM